Hello, what's up YouTube? Photographer Ronnie Street and I try and in this tutorial I want to show you how I'm able to export very sharp images and how I'm able to post very sharp images on Instagram or on social media. So this all comes down to how you export your images within Photoshop. So I want to show you my best export settings for all my images within Photoshop and what I do after doing screen retouching. Remember you want to export a very sharp image and also an image that is not going to be changing in color when you post it on social media or when you put it on a different website as you're trying to promote your photography or your portraits in general. So without further ado, let's just get started and if you can proceed, make sure to give this, this video a like so that you can push and recommend this video to more people out there. So right now what I'm going to do Right now I'm in Photoshop and I'm using Adobe Photoshop 2020 and usually in order to export a sharp image there are two ways you can use and I'm going to be showing you those two ways in this very tutorial. So just come, the first two I tend to use and the commonest way I use is coming to file and coming to export then I come to export as and when you do this you're going to get another window open for you right here. So with this window open I'm just going to reset this. So this is going to be the default for your window right here and with this window open you have to come and make sure that you first of all look at the file settings right here and of course since most social media, social media platforms support jpeg files you have to come and ensure that it is a jpeg file and also the quality has to be 100 percent usually i don't tamper with the image size i make sure the scale is 100 percent then the resample size remember i want a slightly sharpen for screen setting as I'm trying to save this image. So the resample size I change it from bicubic automatic to bicubic sharper. And after doing that, you always want to embed or make sure the colors that you have color graded and embedded in your photos are going to be the exact colors in the final or saved image. So just come to color space and change it to and make sure you check these two options, convert it. SRGB and also embed color profile. So in this case, all those settings are going to be embedded into your image and it is not going to be changing in color when you post it or put it on a different device. So just come after setting all this, just come right here and simply hit export. And right now you can choose a location where you want to save your images and simply hit save. So that is the very first method that you can use. In order to save sharp images that are not going to be changing in color within Photoshop. So the second technique, I'm just going to cancel this. So the second technique that you can use is simply using or saving for web. So under this, I simply come right here to file. Then you come right here to export and you come to save for web legacy. So when you come to save for web legacy, you're going to get this window right here. And with this window open right within your Photoshop or under Save for Web, make sure you check these two options. Make sure Optimize has been checked and also embed the color profile and also convert to sRGB. And the quality you have to make sure that it is the maximum quality that you need out of your image. And the format has to be JPEG, of course, the quality is 100%. Then after making sure that these options are checked, optimize, embed color profile and also convert sRGB. You have to come down here and select the quality, which is by cubic sharper. So make sure you select by cubic sharper. And the quality of course has to be at 100%. And when you're done doing all that, just simply come to save and you're going to be able to save your image in that location that you want or where you want to save your image so in this case we're going to be end up ending up rather with a very sharp image that is detailed or an image that won't change in color after you have been able to save it within photoshop so this is or these are two ways i tend to use in order to save very sharp images or images that won't change in color after saving them within photoshop so this is all for today's tutorial and if at all you have loved this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet 
more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating